happened? What did you hear? Oh. We, we received an email from the school saying that it's a possible shooting here. So obviously we got scared, but we stay in communication with our children. But unfortunately, the situation escalated that they found out more people involved. So that's the reason this is the situation panic. right now. So I don't know, Sam, yeah. what is your experience? Uh, inside the school, a lot of people started talking about it. Everyone started having like, um, we got the email. People didn't get it, the students didn't get them themselves, so they just got it from their parents. Uh, we heard that at 920, there was a student arrested for carrying a pistol. Uh, into the school so obviously people are going to spread rumors and there's going to be fear setting around um, but it was already get people were getting nervous about like any potential you know additional threats that you know there might be someone else in the school and then you know of course as you can see there's a ton of people you know taking their kids out of, uh, of uh, the school and it's just we're having to be signed out it's just a really tense experience did you guys go into a, a code red or some kind of lockdown no, we didn't. Uh, as students were pretty much staying in their classrooms and teachers were, as far as I'm concerned, were advised to let to keep their students in class, but we were allowed to leave as long as we were uh, told to give, a, give them our information and that we would uh, send it. Uh, and before we got out of school that they had the teachers and staff, uh, faculty that had like, they would record our names and our IDs before we left the, the campus. So they let you, they kept you in the classroom for how long would you say? Like did you um, miss your pass through period? Like how long were you in the classroom? Uh, I, you know, we were, uh, ever since we got the news at 920, it was just spreading, but we had, like, re a relatively normal day. Um, people were just getting tense, I think, really right now in the last period. Uh, it was very strange. Um, I would say that I was very nervous uh, the whole time. I tried not my, I tried my best not to be as stressed as I could be and, you know, tried to remain calm. But there's, of course, going to be a ton of stress when, you know, people just want to leave the classrooms. You know, everybody's calling the parents to just pick them up and leave. Some students just would just leave the classrooms as soon as they possibly could. Just, it was just too nervous. People got too scared. And so you gave your name and then they let, your, you, they let you leave with your mom. Is that the process? Yes, yes and they you did. you could just freely walk through the school and leave, right? Yes, After that? they did. Okay. And um, how do you feel about this, knowing what happened at that elementary school in Nashville yeah. as a student? Knowing, you know, Santa Fe, uh, all of these parts and all of these incidents, how do you feel about it? It just feels scary just to know that you could become like another, like someone else in the news about it. Um, you know, the flags are half mass for the national shooting. Um, and that's, it's just so fresh on everybody's mind. And it's just like to know that here at our own school, it's like, it's scary because, you know, uh, you, you always see these things in the news. But it, they're happening with so much more frequency that, you know, even though you see it in the news, you don't really ex ever expect it to happen to you. So I was looking outside the window um, just before I left and I noticed the half mass and I was like, that was, it's scary. It's, it's a representation of the current events. Senior, okay. Anything like this at your school before? No, we haven't had any shooting threats as far as I'm, I, I'm aware of. We might have had, um, I think, there was some threats made a while ago. I think, believe that uh, there was some. Uh, we had some uh, bomb sniffing uh, dogs or drug sniffing dogs come by a few months ago. Um, Nothing like this, though. No, not to this scale. This okay. is the biggest thing I think. And um, we did have, I believe it was a few weeks ago or a month or so a while ago that we had a student um, who that was found with a bullet in his backpack, just a single bullet. Um, they were just saying that it was probably just a student who came from hunting. Nothing really to be too concerned, but now that we have students who came to school with guns, that's a very big concern. And I think, you know, everybody's rightfully stressed, I believe. Everybody's rightfully concerned.